everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video. Today, we're doing something a little different. I don't think anyone else on YouTube has done this before, but anyways, I'm going to be changing the skies of all of the planets. So basically, right now, if you go on a planet, so let's say Earth, let's go on Earth, you look in the sky, oh look, it's just still the stars and stuff. Well, I'm going to be adding custom like skies to that, so yeah, as you can see here, it, in, in like daytime, you wouldn't see all the other stars and it should be blue, but we're just seeing like the regular background. So what we're going to do is, on every single planet, we're going to be um, changing the background to suit that planet. So anyways, first of all, Mercury. So, we can't even really do Mercury because Mercury has barely no atmosphere at all. So, it would simply just look like this, like in the sky. Where, where's the sun at? Sun? There it is. So the sun would pretty much just look like that. Like, there's nothing else you can do. So that, that's Mercury. But here's where it gets interesting. Venus... Venus has, like, the most dense atmosphere out of all the planets, I believe. So, if we land on the surface of Venus... So, let's go under here. There we go. So, we're underneath the atmosphere. But look, you wouldn't see that in the sky. So, if we go to background here, and then change it... Let's just go with brown for now. So, now we've got, like, a brown and black... Or yeah, brown and black, because you can see the stars there are still, there's still a bit of black. So what we want to do is we want to change this to more of this sort of colour. Because you wouldn't see any stars, so we turn the stars off, because you definitely would not see them on Venus. So let's... What sort of colour would it be? Something like that, maybe? Now this... This definitely looks more like a Venus sort of thing there. Look at the sun. Yeah, the sun would be very dim as well. We've got to remember that. The sun would be very, very dim here. So... Oh, what's that black doing? background. Let's go back in there. Right. It keeps on re it resets it every time, which is annoying as well. Oh, it looks like we can't get rid of that black bit. <laughs> Dang it. That's annoying. Well, there we go. That looks pretty good. So, let's turn the stars off again. Or we'll turn the brightness up. Hmm, how bright would it be, honestly? Would it be like... Yeah, Venus is quite a dark planet, so... Probably like this, I'm guessing. So, there we go. So here's what the sky would probably be like on Venus. Something similar to that. So if we zoom out of the planet, it's sort of that sort of colour. You can't really get it like that. Because in real life, like Venus isn't like this green. You can see there's a bit... Can you tell there's green in that planet there? You can see the clouds. If you remove the, at or the um, atmosphere, you can see... Oh, wait. That doesn't work. But you can see there's red clouds there. I don't know if you... Yeah, if you see my mouse, you can definitely see there's red clouds there. So anyways... Yeah, I definitely think this suits Venus. So yeah, um, in the comments, tell me how good how good is this? Like, is this does this look good? Like, is this realistic? Like, I'm pretty sure that looks pretty good, honestly. Wait, let's just let's just have one more shot of it. We still got all the other planets to do, right? So let's go here. We definitely want it to be like a yellow, a dark yellowy sort of colour. So definitely something like this. Mm, is that good? I don't know. I think that looks good. So there we go. Right, why are the stars still? Go away, we don't want the stars. Dang it, I keep, have to keep on redoing this every time. It's Alright, there we go. Oh, that's too much yellow. Yeah, Venus would definitely be something like this. Yeah, Google Google a picture of Venus. And obviously the sun would be a lot dimmer as well. The sun would not look that colour. The sun would barely be visible. It would just be like a little bright patch in the clouds. But yeah, there we go. So I think, apart from that black bit, which I don't know why it's there, but yeah. This would be my custom Venus, I think. This is definitely what the sky would probably look like on Venus. Right, so anyways, let's go out of there. And now let's go to Earth. So, let's zoom out of here. Let's go to Earth. And let's zoom in. Right, so here's Earth. Should we add the moon in? Yes, add the moon in as well. Why not? Wait, we don't need to do that. Let's go planet. Um, then add moon to the planet. So the moon should have spawned there. There we go. There it is. Right. Now. Let, let's land in the USA, so let's land around it right about here. Now, we still have the Venus sky, so what we need to do is we need to go to the background and let's go to, um, hmm, which one should we do? Is there any blue ones we can start off with? Oh yeah, this one, look, look at this, this looks good, space blue. So now what we want to do is we want to um, turn the stars off again, because we don't see them in the daytime, obviously. Hmm, and now we want to put get rid of the black bit and put it as a blue sky. So, let's put all the colours to more of a similar blue colour. Oh, this looks pretty cool, actually. Let's put a bit of grey in there, because we also need white clouds as well. Whoa, 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 that's way too bright. Oh, my God. Oh. Right, how does that look? Does that look good? So, you've got to be careful. Yeah, we, yeah, Earth with a blue sky. There we go. 
Alright, why is there a bit of orange still there? Wait, let's just reload the simulation up actually. Alright, there we go. Don't know why it was doing that. So anyways, let's go back onto Earth. And let's land on Africa this time, since that's a bit in the daytime. In fact, yeah, let's land just about sunrise, I guess. Alright, here. So the sun should be there. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Let's turn off all this, so all the other planets are gone. Now, right, it is paused. Alright, background. So space blue. Now, I don't really touch these backgrounds much, I never really use them. Alright, so the sky on Earth would be like quite a light blue. Well, it usually is, unless you just got grey clouds, so that's why we need to add a bit of grey in. Like here. But I think this should be blue actually. And this should be grey. Yeah, look up! Now that! I think that looks pretty effective. Like, if you just stand in the middle of Africa anyway, Africa. Yeah, it's more, it, it never rains here, so there's not much clouds, because it's always sunny, pretty much. So, there you go. Does this like Universe Sandbox anymore? I don't think so. Yeah, this isn't even Universe Sandbox, this is now like Earth Simulator, I don't know. Alright, anyway, so you can see like the grey patches in the sky, well, they're clouds, obviously, because Earth does have clouds, remember, so. There we go, we've got our blue sky, different shades of blue, and there we go, so, there's the sun. So, and also got another thing, so if we go to the dark side, or the bit at night time, so we're back in the USA again, let's land on the surface, obviously it wouldn't be light blue like this, so let's go back to the space blue, and let's put more blue in, because remember, um, it's not actually black at night time, it's a very, very dark blue, because obviously the Earth's atmosphere and stuff like that, so, well, that's way too bright, alright, so let's turn the blue down to something like this, so there we go, like that. So you can just about see in the sky, but it's still blue, we've got a few darker spots, in fact actually I don't think that's right, so let's do that again. Right, try and get it all on the same colour to be honest, right, and just a little darker, be like, oh that's too bright. And now let's turn them all down to this sort of colour, wait, there we go. Now I think that is pretty cool, because remember, yeah, like I said, at night time it's not actually black, is it? it pretty much a dark blue. So, there we go. Well, I think it's dark blue. I'm pretty sure it is. But anyway, so there we go. So this is Earth at night time. So we've had day and night time. So, let's go out of that again. And now let's go to Mars. So, Mars has a pink sky. So, this is going to be interesting. So, yeah. You can see the atmosphere is pink as well. Like, if you don't notice, like, it's a reddish pink. Maybe known as a red planet, but it has a pink sky. So you may have just seen that bit with the atmosphere there. So let's go to um, background again. Let's go. Let's just go to white this time. Oh, my God. Can't spot the sun here, that's for sure. Alright, so now we want a pink, so let's be something like this. Oh, this looks good already. Wow. I really like that. Because Mars, like, um, if you know, like, about quite a lot about Mars, Mars has dust storms, so it's like lots of wind. So, there you go. That would be my Mars, honestly. Right, let's just, let's alter it a little more. Let's make it a little more fancy. So, let's go back to solid white and then put that straight back to the pinky colour we had. Oh, there we go. Like that. And Mars has a blue sky at night as well, I believe. So how do you do this? Let's put, it, let's put all these as pink. We even put it as other colours. Like, all right. Put a little bit of like an orange sort of colour in there as well. All right. So here is my Mars in the um, daytime. That's what it looks like. Look at pictures that NASA have taken. That, that Mars has a very pink sky. So where's the sun? I'm trying to find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm lost. All right, here's the surface. Sun. It's so hard to spot it. Wait, let's just grab it. Well, look how pink it is. Let's go to about sunrise. Let's go. Oh, look. The biggest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons. Let's land on that. There we go. We pretty much land on it. So, there you go. Sunrise on Mars. So, we'd have a pink sky. I think that looks pretty cool. I actually really like this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think anyone else on YouTube has done this before. So, I think this is pretty much my idea, I guess. I don't know. Has anyone else done it? Tell me. But, anyways, this looks pretty sweet. Right, now let's go to the nighttime on Mars. And also, the reason why I didn't do nighttime on Venus is because it would be pitch black. It would literally be pitch black. You wouldn't see anything, it'd just be pitch black. So, right, let's land on the back of Mars now, or the bit in the dark. Right, so let's land back on the surface, and now we want pretty much a similar thing to Earth, because Mars does have a, um, a blue, a very, very dark blue sky at night, so it'd be like that. Be something like this, and let's turn up the stars. We need the stars back on as well. Well, I don't want to go in here. All right, wait, what am I doing? All right, there we go. So let's go back to solid white. Let's turn the stars up. Let's go to a dark color. 
Where are all the stars anyway? I don't even see them. Are they here? Oh, I can't spot the stars. Let's go to another template. There we go. There's some stars. All right. So, let's turn this back to a very, very, very dark blue. See, it won't be exactly the same as Earth for him. Let's just put that as black like that. Oh, oh wow. I don't know why. What are you doing? Come black. There we go. All right. That's the surface of Mars. All right. Where'd all the blue go? Oh, there it is. So if you put it as black, I like, can barely see the blue at all, so this needs to be blue as well. So Mars would be like that. So I, I would say that would be Mars at night time, so... Yep. Like, if you didn't know, new fact for the day, Mars does have a blue sky at night time, so... Let's go to about sunset. Okay, this isn't sunset, is it? Okay, we're not sunset yet, we need to get it in the right position, so we're about there. Dang, I think it's a little too much. Ah, uh, it's so hard to, like, land on the surface on these. Oh my god! Alright. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. There we go, there's sunset. So, there you go. So as the sun sets, it will be turn from pink to um, blue. So there we go. Finally got it done. So there we go, there's our stars in the sky, and voila, there we go. So it would have a blue sky. Sadly, we can't get the Milky Way in as well. But yeah, we, it needs to be, have a blue tint. Right, so now, next up, Jupiter. So, you may be thinking, how can you even see stuff at night time on here? So basically, you're right. Like, we can land on the very, very top of Jupiter. But because like there's no atmosphere above us, it would just be like the regular Milky Way. So let's go back to... Oh, wait. In fact, actually, it'd probably just be the sun. See it uh, in the daytime. It will just be um, solid. Wait, solid black. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I just saw Andromeda Galaxy. There, look, I never spotted that. See my mouse there. That's the Andromeda Galaxy. Right. Anyways, okay. Let's just go to solid grey and turn it to black. So at the daytime in Jupiter, it pretty much be like this. Because if you're standing on top of the clouds, then the only thing you'll see in the sky is the sun. Because the sun, the sun is so bright, it would dim out all the other stars. Like, all the other stars would be dimmed out. So, there you go. There, there's Jupiter. And the same thing would happen for Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. But anyway, to make things a little more interesting, since Saturn's moon Titan has an atmosphere, remember? So let's go to Saturn. Right, here we go. Saturn's moon Titan has an atmosphere, so we can do, like, a day-night thing on there as well. So I have no idea how what, um, what Titan looks like at night. But anyways, Titan has an orange sort of atmosphere, and there's Saturn as well. In fact, let's put it behind Saturn to get it in the thing, so... Come on, where is it? Right, we need to hit play. Right, there we go. I want to put it behind Saturn, like that. So, we're behind Saturn now. Right, so Saturn would be in our night sky. Oh, Saturn is so nice. Let's add the rings on as well, why not? In fact, let's add them after, but anyways. So, let's land on Titan in pretty much the middle of the day. So, here we go. Titan's surface would be a little more orange as well. So, let's make it realistic. We want to make it realistic, so be something like this maybe i'm not i'm not um being a try hard here i'm just estimating so anyways we go out so it'd be something like that i guess i don't know for sure but yeah but titan definitely has like a um sort of orangey surface like that that looks pretty cool so anyways let's put the atmosphere back on let's land on the surface right so here we go we're on the surface of titan now there's saturn there's the sun so anyways Let's go to the view settings, background, and we want to have a very, very, very cool orange colour. So let's go back to... Let's go back to the... Let's just do this one. Alright, anyways. So we want orange. We want a lot of orange. It'd be similar to Venus, honestly, but a little more orange. So something like this, maybe? It'd be a very, very misty orange. Sadly, we can't make Saturn look um, different in the sky, but oh well. Let's turn that off. There we go. That's good. Alright. Yeah, Saturn would be a little, like... Um, missed it out. It'd be a little cloudy. Like you wouldn't see Saturn as clear as that. It'd be covered away by the clouds a lot. See, so, kind of like how the moon is on Earth. Like sometimes you can't see it because the clouds are in the way. But anyways, Saturn would glow quite bright since it reflects quite a lot of light. Thirty-seven percent of the light it reflects, I believe. Wait, let's check that right now. Saturn. Oh, thirty-four percent. Fine, that's close enough. Anyways. Hmm. So we'll turn the stars off. So I'm guessing we would end up with something like this. There we go. So there's the sun over there. And then Saturn would be in the sky. None of the other moons would probably be visible because they're so small. Actually, we probably would see some of the moons, but can't spot any right now in the sky. But anyways, there we go. So we've got our dark surface. Then we've got our cloudy sky. Because, yeah, Venus would have been a little 
a little darker, I'm guessing, because Titan has less of an atmosphere. But anyways, there we go. So there's Titan done. And then we can't obviously do Saturn, so let's go all the way to, um... Can we even do anything at Uranus? None of its moons have atmospheres, so it wouldn't look different. Yeah, we can't do anything, so... Where can we go now? <laughs> hmm. Let's go to Neptune, my favourite planet. Alright. Yeah, honestly, there's nothing else we can do here. Like, yeah, we literally can't do anything else, because there's no other planets with atmospheres. Like, we can go all the way to Sedna. We can pretend Sedna, if Sedna had an atmosphere, like, all the way out here. Even though Sedna's in pitch black. <laughs> Where's the sun there? The sun's there. Anyways, if Sedna had an atmosphere, it'd probably be red, so let's, let's give it an atmosphere. I right, so there we go, there's an atmosphere now. Let's put the background back to the regular Milky Way. Where is it? Where's Milky Way? There we go, Milky Way dark, fine. So, yeah, so Sedna's in bitchy, utter darkness right now, so let's land on Sedna. So where's the sun? Can't even spot it. It's so it's the same size as all the other stars. We're so far away right now. I'm trying to click on it, <laughs> I can't find it. Oh God, where where is it? Oh, you can oh there it is. So we have to look pretty much right up in the sky. It's so hard to see on here. Oh what the heck? I'm not clicking anything on my mouse. That's because Sedna is spinning really fast. I think let's pause it. Okay, we can't we can't find it. But anyways, if said they had an atmosphere, it'd probably be something like this. So let's go to view. Oh, I didn't really need a drink, right? There we go, that's better. Alright, anyways. So if said they had an atmosphere, I'm guessing it'd be quite red. But since we think said it is red, so it'd be probably a dark red, honestly. See it probably won't be a very strong atmosphere, because we know Pluto has an atmosphere, or like a very faint one, so honestly I'm guessing we'd see something like this maybe. It's kind of hard to do. Alright. Let's give it one more shot. And uh, like that. Oh, don't want to do that. Alright. That's probably the closest I can get, but we don't even know if said that has an atmosphere, but there we go. That's the best I think I can do. Right, there's the sun there. But anyways, that will do it for this video. It's a little shorter than usual, but anyways, can't argue with a shorter video, because I do do quite long ones, and people do say you shouldn't make them too long. So anyways, let's go back to the solar system. And let's go back to Earth, and let's get our lovely blue sky back, because I think that sky looks awesome, so. Right, and let's land in, let's go to Australia, why not? Alright, there we go. So let's end off in Australia, let's go to background again. See, this is so easy to do. Right, I can literally just do it in like 20 seconds, pretty much like this. There we go. And the white clouds, and boom, there we go. This looks even better than the first one. And boom, there we go, they've got the sun in the sky. We're in Australia, we've got a nice sea there, lovely blue sky, because I don't think it ever rains here. Definitely know it doesn't snow here, that's for sure. But anyways, there we go. So, like I said, hopefully you all enjoy the video. If you, if you have any recommendations for another Universe Sandbox 2 video, leave um, a comment down below, I'll reply to you. And yeah, like subscribe, like, all that stuff, I think I already said that. But anyways, there we go, so yeah. So now let's play, and as you can see, it's gone crazy. But anyways, see if we can get a sunrise, or a sunset. Where's the sun? Oh, there it is. Alright, sunset, and then we'll end the video. Alright, there we go. Oh, dang it, it already set. <laughs> well, we'll have a sunrise instead. Where's the sun gone? Oh. There it is, there's our lovely sunrise. There we go. Right, so, like I said, I hope everyone had a... Oh, what was I saying? That mucked me up. Right, so hopefully um, you're having a good day, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. So there we go. Lovely sunrise. Anyways. See you in the next video. Goodbye.